action. You all may have noticed recently that this community is blowing up. We have just hit 1,000 members on Facebook, and by the time I plan to make this video, we're already on 1,100. Discord is about to hit 900 members. We just made a Twitch, which has 150 followers, and the YouTube channel is about to hit 30,000 subscribers. This is the race to 30K, but we're currently on 29 and a half thousand subscribers, and it is only on the up and up and up in this community, and this is kind of like a prologue to why this video is so delayed. This is the community spotlight for January. Hello and welcome to episode four. And sorry it took me so long to make, but I have been uploading every day for like two weeks. Things are, things are a little bit nuts. So here we are again. Let me break down if you're new to this, what the community spotlight is. We have a Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. Hundreds of people post their favorite Mega Constructs pictures and videos, and then we collate our favorites from the community together for a spotlight every single month. Usually we have a theme, whether it be collections or animations. This month was so crazy that we didn't have a theme, but I still wanted to pull together my 25 favorite posts that I saw on the Mega Constructs domain this month. And stay tuned till the end of the video where I announce this month's Community Spotlight theme, including a charity sale going on on our Discord. You will not want to miss that. So we're gonna go through them one by one, and I just wanna start with a couple of shout outs because again, so much has happened in the last month. For people who have watched the previous episodes, they may remember Jose David Carrillo. When we mentioned him last time, it was a very dark time in his life, but we're happy to report that he just had a new baby daughter and we'd like to congratulate him on behalf of this community. I'm sure everybody else will be happy to hear that he's doing very well. Let's get right into the posts. Antoine Biscuits. He submitted this really funny video that I had to show you guys of a Mega Constructs Predator eating a carrot and then eating a jackal. I just thought it, <laughs> I thought it was a great way to start the video. Then we've got a picture from Lorenzo Bryson. He showed his warthog in the snow. I love any action shots of my Mega Constructs outdoors, especially in the snow with a CTF snow warthog. Now Derek Welch will make everyone green with envy with his four Halo Infinite Pelicans. I don't know where you would display those. This guy takes up enough room as it is, but he's got four of them and it's kind of out of control. Phantoms or Chilla posted this crazy mech wraith tank thing. I just thought it was so cool. Then check out this video from Jacob Truett. He shows off his collection and there are so many sealed sets there, I cannot believe it. And looking at that sealed, or maybe it's just the box for the Scarab, but he's got the Scarab, Infinity, and Ford Unto Dawn there. That's seriously badass. Henry Marino showed us this very nice picture of UNSC forces surrounded by Banished. I love it, it's so cool. And they've got a load of the blind bag figures, especially that blue Spartan from the Battle of the Ark. And I still don't have that new articulation skirmisher. That's on my wish list. It was good to see William Stifner posting again. He had a replica of the VK-78 Commando rifle that we've seen in Halo Infinite trailers. I thought it looked amazing, made up of loads of different Call of Duty parts, and I really can't wait for Mega Constructs to make one of their own. I really actually hope it's the same kind of design where you can remove different parts. Then we've got Silver Exia, and you guys will not believe this picture. He called it a La Bird Cage, and it has all the flying vehicles from Halo Mega Constructs, including that NMPD Pelican, which I don't even think I'll be able to get my hands on this time. It's just too much, it's too expensive. I don't think I'll ever find it. That Frost Raven as well, there's some amazing sets there. Poji Heras posted this custom he made of a banished cult leader. It looks like it's out of the game Doom, to be honest. And then Lego Brick 8 posted a video of his domain hoodie, which you guys can buy at redbubble.com right now. We have a wide selection of merch, and I'm really excited to see people actually showcasing it now. Ben Thompson edited his warthogs and mongooses in very creative ways, and I love that. And then Toro of Ultimate Doom, as always, showed us really high quality pictures, this time of Halo Heroes Series 13. And if you have not subscribed to Toro of Ultimate Doom yet, you need to get over there. That guy is amazing. Antpad showed us his Halo haul. Apparently he bought this all in one day, which is pretty wild. And then Connor Doan, 
also posted his half AC custom of the Arbiter. Apparently Fanson a Joy made this years ago, but I think it's amazing. It wouldn't be a spotlight without Z Fowler from Demarcation Media. He chose through a poll his new Spartan mascot of the channel. He went with the new Halo hero Spartan Mark 7, and this edited photo is to die for. Jonathan Olert posted his Halo Heroes custom display case. He's done it by using a base plate, flipped on its side, and then like 90 degree angled bricks, and put the figures on top. I thought it was very creative. Jason Mikado posted this picture with the caption, man's just trying to vibe, and you can definitely see why. And then Warhammer Richards, another really great member of the community, he was egging me on when we were getting close to 1K members on our Facebook, and he posted a custom of his banished hunter, and he replaced the shield with the Breacher Exosuit shield, which I really need to try, because it looks great. I wanted to show you all this custom diorama by Linda Silva and her son. This looks amazing, especially this big firebase they got going on. Very cool indeed. Then my boy Rogue Studios on YouTube. I love to see YouTubers getting in on the community spotlight. Rogue Studios posted this castle siege diorama. The Banished and Covenant are pushing towards this castle. There's drones coming over the roof. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I can't wait to see his dioramas expand more and more. We also couldn't have a spotlight without Daniel Wong. He showed us a small, very intimate Banished versus UNSC forces dio. Anytime you see Daniel Wong's work, give it a thumbs up. He's creating some gorgeous photography. Now, Valery Pospelov is someone I've seen a lot recently and talked to on DMs a lot. He has created a new YouTube channel where he blends reviews with stop motion and also does some of them in Russian, which is really cool. And he made a custom black ODST with battle damage. Looks seriously nice. Check out his YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, and then Dimitri Akina also did a custom ODST. This is called Hawk 368. It's got the Romeo's helmet, a load of other accessories, maybe the Recon's chest. It's a very nice figure. I love me some pop and swaps. Aiden Char recreated the Halo Wars 2 Know Your Enemy trailer with Atriox facing off against Cutter. But Aiden still made an amazing clash between Banished and UNSC. And that is 24 of them. The 25th is one that I had to save for last. I know everybody in the community is rallying behind Bam Bam Productions right now. He's a moderator on my Discord and an admin on my Facebook. He's been making videos for my channel and he is showing off his Halo Infinite displays and all of his collection and I'm just gonna let this roll for a while because this is crazy cool. Twenty-five epic posts from the community, handpicked by myself and my admin team, and we're going to be doing this every single month, now into the far future, Halo Infinite and beyond. I also want to give a very special shout out to my parents this time around. They are currently filming their very first video for our channel, a fast build and review of the Scarab. They're literally building this from scratch in my dad's shed. Yeah, they are building it from scratch. Here's an upcoming preview of that content. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome to another review from The Domain. Join us today in the summer house. Let's get on with the build. <laughs> Only in my wildest dreams would I, I have had my parents making videos. It's incredible. I want to give one last shout out to Misria Armory. He posted a new collection tour of his over 3,000 figures. It'll blow your minds. I have never seen that much Mega Constructs ever, so you should check out that video link in the description below. Now before I announce February's Community Spotlight, I need to start with a giveaway that is long since overdue. This is the giveaway for 1K members on our Facebook group, and you guys have been patient, so I wanted to put together the ultimate little Halo Infinite Prelude package. If you win this giveaway, You'll get a downloadable code for Halo Infinite armor coatings in-game, a Halo Infinite Series 1 blind bag, and the Halo Heroes Spartan Recon and Mark 7 with weapons and base plate. If you would like to win this Halo Infinite 1K giveaway package, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below saying long live the community, and subscribe to the YouTube channel with that bell on. Also, probably join the Facebook group, that'd be good. <laughs> just do all those things, just spread the community around, and I'll pick one of those comments to win this Halo Infinite goodie package later on in the month. Now, you're all probably wondering what the theme for this month is. It's very special indeed. This month's Community Spotlight theme will be custom figures. 
and we're doing this in a lot of different ways. To be showcased in the next episode of the Community Spotlight, all you need to do is post a picture or video of your custom figure in the Facebook group, The Mega Constructs Domain. We'll pick our favorite ones to be featured in the next episode, and we'll draw some for a giveaway. And these can be anything from painted to molded and sculpted, whatever you want, just a custom figure from the Halo universe with Mega Constructs pieces. And I also want to announce that we are doing a big event on our Discord this month. Four different custom creators, The Rookie, Bam, Bam, Wildfire, and Emzar Customs from Instagram have all teamed up together and they are selling all of their custom figures. I'm gonna do a separate video announcing all the details in about a week's time, but you can head over to our Discord now ready for the main announcement. They're gonna be selling their figures, all four of those custom creators on our Discord and 50% of the profit will go to St. Jude's Hospital. So I'm very excited for that. More details in about a week's time. And that is the end of episode four of the Domain Community Spotlight. Long live the community, which has basically doubled since we started this video series. I mean, this is, uh, things are going crazy at the minute. We've gained about 500 subscribers in about uh, 10 days, which is wild for us, and it's only gonna get better. We are on the road to 30K. I think we're gonna hit 30K subs by like halfway through this month, which is so exciting. Maybe we'll get like, I'm, I'm dreaming, I'm heading for the moon, baby. My main aim for 2021 is to burst into that mainstream Halo scene. And the main way you can support me on doing that this month is subscribing and following our Twitch motion domain. Link in the description. This is going to be a wild year for the domain and the Mega Constructs community. I'm going to swell this community to as big as possible. Thank you very much for tuning into the first of this year's community spotlight, the first of 12, I guess. Have a great day out there, and see you next time. Pelican, Pelican signing off. Let's do it. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da!